Hey guys, hello and welcome to the brand new Orbital Outdoors Vintage Channel. Today we're going to talk about how to find out the year that your Patagonia fleece or jacket was made. Uh, this is one of the most asked questions we get on our Instagram and I'd love to help you guys out, show you like my top five ways to uh, figure out what year it's from. Let's go! I think some of the best reasons to, you know, go through the effort to find out what year your, you know, your piece is from, number one, just being it's rad. You know, the adventure something had gone through, who owned it before, just the energy on vintage clothing, I think is awesome. Yeah, I just get it like a weird nostalgia for maybe even a time I haven't lived, just looking back at historical photos. It's just incredible to me. I'm, I'm a geek though. And as far as being an online reseller or just consumer, buyer, collector, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there on eBay, you know, different selling apps, Depop, Poshmark, Macari, I always notice they're always listing fleeces, especially patterned one, ones as vintage. And when they're not, they might be from 2010. Um, they don't know any better or they're trying to fool someone just to get that higher vintage price. So with what we're about to lay out in the video, like you're gonna know better, you'll look at the tag and just move on with your life and, uh, you know, find a, find a true vintage piece. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, newer fleeces, I love them. Uh, we've got a couple on the rack right here, but uh, you know, just to be a smarter consumer, I guess. As a seller, the more information you have on a fleece, the more you can put in your description, you know, the better chance you have of selling it. Now you're gonna find out how easy it is, which will be sweet. Yeah, let's get into it. My number one way to date Patagonia usually works, like I'd say maybe like 80% of the time, just really depends on the piece. Here, I'll just use one of these. I rated my wife's uh, fleece closet. Here, I'm gonna grab the camera for this. You guys can get a little behind the scenes look. Look at this setup. We've got a shoe pod. Snap my tripod in half already. Maddie, watching me, biting bones. And then what you're gonna wanna do is find the style tag. A lot of fleece is gonna be on the seam on the left side. You're gonna go right here. You're gonna see a couple hang tags usually. What you're most interested in is gonna be you know, the last two letters and two numbers. So we've got an FA16. So this mushroom fleece is uh, fall for fall 2016. The other one you're gonna have is uh, SP for spring. You know, when you're doing with jackets and fleece, usually it's gonna be fall. All right, so we're gonna grab another one. Gonna grab this one, one of my all time favorites. Shout out Old School Outdoors for this one. Cookie Monster deep pile. Gonna check the inside and here we go. So this is a really good sign. Tag is extremely easy to read. We've got an FA01, so that's gonna be fall 2001. Okay, so finding that style tag and uh, finding the year, I mean, it's like pretty much as simple as it gets. The only catch is a lot of the vintage, you know, these are like 30 year old fleeces. That tag is gonna be worn out. And let me show you some of those. Let's grab, uh, Got this uh, crazy crocodile print. Check out this tag. Yeah, so as you can see, this tag is completely washed out and uh, you really can't read it. So we're gonna have to move on to a new method. Method number two. Oh, one more quick thing to mention with the style tag. Sometimes you're gonna have just one number on the tag. So maybe FA0, FA2, and you're kind of like, you know, does that mean 1980, 1990? And at that point, um, you're gonna have to, you know, dig a little bit further. So let, let's go into the second way. All right, so we check the style tag, which can be on the inner left side or some of the newer fleeces. Um, I think I forgot to tell you, you could find it, this tag right here. You can find the style number back here. All right, so the second method is gonna be checking out the upper hang tag. Ever since Patagonia was founded in uh, 73, pretty much every couple years they've changed that upper hang tag. So you can actually use that to figure out the date, uh, especially if that's too worn out. You might not get an exact date, but you, you'll find out it was from like 92 to 94. Uh, so I got it right here. Uh, if you want a copy, just shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll hook it up. Or um, if I get my editing skills, I'll put it up on the screen right now.
top left, um, that's actually one of my favorite Patagonia hang tags. It's called the No Snow. Uh, if you look at all the other tags, you know, you have this white line, you know, over the mountains. Uh, this one has no snow on it, so definitely a cool one to look for. Um, sorry, my dog's whining. 80s are really easy to uh, identify because they're the loop tag, which are really cool. When you find a loop tag, grab it pretty much every time. Um, the 70s tag, just iconic, uh, incredible. Uh, here, if you want to take a screenshot of that, great to have. And then here's another one. These kind of overlap, but these are just a couple different you know, things I've found over the years. I think you can find these in Google Images, um, but I don't think the, uh, the loop tag one you can find anymore. And this kind of goes over what I was talking about with the style tag. So yeah, these are great. If you want to take a screenshot of that, really valuable. All right guys, now that we are armed with our hang tag reference guide, let's see if we can figure out what year this uh, crocodile face is from. It's a Patagonia cinchilla tag. Let's check out our reference guide so we don't have it on here. So we've got the cinchilla tag right here, 1996 to open-ended. Um, so 96, 97, not really sure what it goes up to. I just actually know that this is from 1998. So it probably did run like the two year stretch, you know, one or two year stretches that the tags do. So yeah. Um, so, you know, we got close enough on this one. Let's try another one. This really cool geometric Aztec fleece. Um, here's the tag. So these are the ones, mid 90s I believe, that I find really tricky. Um, because as you can see, other than the no snow, these two look incredibly similar. Um, the difference is going to be the font. It's actually a lot thicker here than it is here. Um, and you just really have to look at the, that's is when you look at the really subtle differences, like that mountain range right there, compared to that peak right here. This is when you kind of got to get the magnifying glass out. And with these blurry photos, you know, sometimes you're not exactly sure if you've got the right year. So I would say looking at that, to me, that's looking like a 94, 95. Third way to identify the uh, date of your Patagonia, it's actually gonna be the size of the snaps. Let me grab one real quick. You're gonna look at the snaps. So this one on the left, the mushroom, this is like a newer snap tee. So the snaps are pretty big. Uh, when you compare it to these snaps on, this is a 1990 um, Patagonia reversible glissade anorak. It's pretty rad. So right away, when I see these snaps, I know it's a vintage piece. So with that said, a lot of times these older snaps actually break. I mean, they're pretty small. You rip them apart, you know, for 30 years. So just because you don't see the small snaps doesn't mean that the fleece is a vintage. Patagonia, you know, everything has a lifetime guarantee. So if you bring them to warm wear, they're gonna put brand new snaps if you have one snap and we've done it like dozens of times. Um, actually, I was trying to give you guys an example of the smaller snaps on our, my wife's vintage fleece is right here. And I realized they've, they've all had snap repairs and have bigger snaps. But uh, one other thing is gonna be if it only has three snaps, um, that's gonna be a good sign. Doesn't, one that has four doesn't mean it's not vintage, but three snaps almost always, I believe, is gonna be a vintage fleece. The fourth way to figure out the year of your Patagonia, it's probably my favorite, is just to hunt down an old Patagonia catalog they're, you know, that's going to be pretty difficult. Uh, they're pretty scarce, but there are a lot of collectors out there, uh, especially on Instagram that just love posting, you know, photos of their old catalogs. And if you just search the hashtag uh, Patagonia catalog on Instagram, I found like quite a few, you know, of our fleeces and t-shirts. And I'm just like, wow. And, and it's just like the coolest feeling, you know, to find something, the original ad for it, like, you know, mail order catalog. It, it's incredible. Uh, so yeah, and you could search on eBay. People are sometimes like listing old catalogs for sale. One time I almost got really lucky. I had an old school collector that I was buying some shirts off. He had the entire um, 
you know, full collection from 1973 on. Unfortunately, when he moved, the box got lost and destroyed or left in an attic. So that was a bummer, but you know, keep searching. Um, five, really simple. Just ask, reach out to people in the outdoor vintage community. Pretty much everyone I've ever talked to um, has just been super friendly. I know I love it when I get DMs, people asking what year their stuff is from. I learn every day, you know, there's so much to learn and don't feel bad about just asking someone or getting a second opinion. Just like the other day when I got this 90 Patagonia Glissated, it was just FA zero. Now I just want to make sure it was 1990 and not 1980. I'm making a tag dating video. I still get, my brain hurts sometimes trying to figure stuff out. Always good, just reach out to the community. Um, some great accounts, Swan Shop Vintage, Old School Outdoors, Deep Piles for Miles. There's just a lot of really good ones there, especially on Instagram that really know their stuff and have some incredible collections. Make sure to just search some hashtags and find some new accounts to follow. All right, guys, I think that's a wrap for our first ever attempt at making YouTube content. Hope it wasn't too painful to watch. Hope you learned something. Hope it was, um, now you're psyched to go find some Patagonia or go in your closet, you know, date what you have. Uh, you find out the date of something, you know, leave a comment below. Press the like button on this video. And I think subscribing is uh, really important. Even if you're not on YouTube much, just press subscribe. I think we have to hit like a thousand subs and, you know, and then we can possibly make some money, which is just wild. Um, but I wouldn't be mad about that. I have way more Patagonia with some YouTube dollars. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.